by dint of hard work and our collective resolve and determination, we have been able to complete most of the major projects that I inherited from my predecessor, and new ones started with majority of them completed. May I please crave your indulgence to recount a few of them. We started with the grand celebration of the Navy's 60th anniversary in 2019, which included the launching of the Ghana Navy History Book, which had been on the shelves of the authors for many years, and the hosting of the Maiden International Maritime Defense Exhibition and Conference, which was widely acclaimed to be very successful. In the year 2020, did not unfold as anticipated due to the outbreak of the global COVID-19. Thus, our collective objectives and aspirations were seriously affected, but did not drive us into despair. We were able to record some monumental achievements. The commissioning of the Naval Training Command and other ultramodern training facilities at Nutepo by His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief, was highly acknowledged by both local and international partners as a world-class training center. In addition, the construction of a swimming pool at the Eastern Naval Command, which started last year, has been completed to support training in the command. We have also made some modest efforts towards addressing one of the most critical welfare-related challenges in the Navy. Having completed and commissioned assisting unit accommodation for the officers at the wardroom in Accra, ratings transit quarters at Ghana Navy Supply Depot in Takrade, the construction of a 20-unit accommodation block for ratings at Second Day Barracks has also commenced and is progressing steadily. Distinguished invited guy, guests, in spite of all these infrastructure development, if a naval force cannot sustain operational ships at sea and keep our maritime domain safe, then that Navy cannot be termed to be potent and credible enough. Whilst we continue to pursue the government's agenda to acquire offshore patrol vessels and security patrol boats to provide continuous security to offshore platforms, we have worked hard to maintain our existing fleet through the dedication and relentless efforts from the naval dockyard. We were able to sustain operational ships at sea continuously as a deterrent posture to deal with the current maritime security threats and improve operational readiness.